The Texas Republican Convention met over the weekend, and the delegates there embraced a number of stances which signaled a rightward shift for the party's philosophy moving forward. You're about to hear some mind-blowing and just plain evil facts about the Texas Republican Party. And the last one I will share will blow your mind. The Texas GOP just approved their new official party platform, like they do every two years, and it is 100% insane. So in this video, I'll cover the hot button ones that the news covered, but the platform is actually 40 pages long. So I went through the 40 pages for you and pulled out the most egregious, bonkers, too hard to believe parts that were not covered in the news, and I'll share those now as well. It is a platform so unhinged and morally bankrupt that it seems unreal, except it's real. So I will read you the actual text of these, starting with the headline one of homosexuality is an abnormal lifestyle choice. This is a quote. Quote continues, we believe there should be no granting of special legal entitlements or creation of special status for homosexual behavior, regardless of state of origin, and we oppose any criminal or civil penalties against those who oppose homosexuality out of faith, conviction, or just belief in traditional values. No one should be granted special status based on their LGBTQ identification. Do you see what they're saying there? You don't get equal treatment under the law. You don't get recognized if you're part of the LGBTQ community, but also you cannot be penalized if you oppose homosexuality and therefore discriminate against gay people just based on your values, not even a sincerely held religious belief. Next, we oppose all efforts to validate transgender identity, just blanketly. If you're transgender, we oppose you. Continuing, the official position of the Texas schools shall be that there are only two genders, biological male and biological female. I'm surprised Texas didn't say, we only recognize the genders of cowboy and little lady. Since life begins at fertilization, we urge the Texas legislature to abolish abortion through enacting legislation that would immediately secure the rights to life and would nullify any and all federal statutes, regulations, orders, and court rulings that would deny these rights. Literally just sorry, you want an abortion? Gone. Even with no exceptions. That's the official platform. Rape, incest, too bad, have the baby, ruin your life, even though your life was already severely affected by the horrible crime you had to suffer. This next one, a personal attack against me, I think. Quote, oppose the legalization of recreational marijuana. How dare you? How dare you? Next one, quote, we urge that the Voting Rights Act of 1965, codified and updated in 1973, be repealed and not authorized. Not reauthorized. The Voting Rights Act of 1965, the landmark civil rights era bill that banned racial discrimination in elections by making sure that no voting rules could result in the denial or the abridgment of the right of any citizen to vote on account of race or color. We're, we're not in favor of that. You want to be discriminated against in certain parts of Texas based on your race and stopped from voting? We're okay with it. That's their actual position. They went on to rebuke their state senator, John Cornyn, from the U.S. Congress. They booed him while he was speaking at this convention for his work on a bipartisan gun bill that would strengthen red flag laws in the wake, of course, of the Uvalde Elementary School massacre. A weak bill. It does some good things. It's much needed. It's a starting point. But even that weak compromise bill they rebuked him officially. Quote, whereas waiting periods on gun purchases harm those who need to acquire the means of self-defense in emergencies such as riots, whereas all gun control is a violation of the Second Amendment and our God-given rights. I mean, where can I even begin to break that one down? Everything in that was very, very stupid. First of all, they're literally saying that somebody needs to get a, a, a gun during a riot, and that's why they do not want background checks. Once the riot's happening, it's too late to go and purchase a gun at that point. Do you understand what I'm saying here? And all gun control's a violation of the Second Amendment, so babies should have guns, so idiots should have guns, so 
People with severe mental health issues should have guns. And they say that having a gun is your God-given right? Where does it say in the Bible that God says we 100% are going to make sure that every human being has the right to have a gun? He set it up on Mount Sinai. I think it was, it was a c- commandment four, or was that amendment two? We support the right of Ted Cruz to thaw out every winter in Cancun. Okay, I made that one up. And of course, the last of the headline ones, they made sure to put in their official platform that, quote, we reject the certified results of the 2020 presidential election, and we hold that acting president, Joe Biden Jr., was not legitimately elected by the people of the United States. So it's already next level insane and evil, but now begins the even further insane list of things also in their official platform that didn't get news coverage. Quote, we demand the state legislature pass a law prohibiting the teaching of sex education, sexual health, or sexual choice or identity in any public school in any grade whatsoever. You can't teach sex ed at all now, according to what the Republican Party would like to do in Texas. Quote, environment, we oppose environmentalism that obstructs legitimate business interests. Environmentalism, like it's a bad word, firstly is just laughable, but then as long we're fine with it as long as it doesn't obstruct a business. If an oil company or a gas company wants to purge and rape the earth, well, you can't stop it. That would be obstructing them. Sorry if the planet is burning and melting. Deal with it, bro. Quote, we support the defunding of climate justice initiatives, climate justice they put in quotes, and the repeal of the Environmental Protection Agency, and, I guess for good measure, repeal of the Endangered Species Act. They literally want to put in the law that you can just kill species that are on the brink of extinction, have no agency to protect the environment as we have a crumbling planet that literally is about to cross the point of no return where we will not be able to survive on planet Earth. And they're like, eh, it's fun to kill tigers. And we're buddies with gas company guys. That's the belief system going on here. Oh, they also want to repeal minimum wage law and prevailing wage laws, all of them. Hmm, isn't that nice? They also oppose efforts to implement net neutrality. Of course, why not throw that in there? Why would you keep the internet neutral? Why not let rich people get better access to the internet and let huge companies filter and decide what it is you get access to and what you don't. Why would you want to have actual free, even access to information? You'd only want that if you wanted people to be equal. Clearly, the Republican Party in Texas does not. I continue, quote, we call upon the federal government to stop the following. The Community Reinvestment Act, funding for the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Again, they just can't leave Big Bird alone, can they? Anything that's educational, unbiased, makes them very, very angry deep inside. Quote, tax dollars should not be used to fund the building of stadiums for professional sports teams. Okay, I agree with that one. Quote, we oppose any attempt to regulate homeschooling or the curriculum of private or religious uh, schools. Yeah, that shows. You want no regulation whatsoever on homeschooling? Well, you're going to keep raising children that are going to write more insane like this. They even put specifically that they want to ban the drag queen story hour and that it shall not be part of any educational programming in public schools, libraries, or any other taxpayer-funded program for children. We support passage of a law more comprehensive than the Florida law that prohibits instruction in sexual orientation and gender identity in public schools. For them, the Florida don't say gay law was just not quite discriminatory enough. They wanted to up it and tell Florida to stick it where the sun don't shine, even though they're apparently against that. Quote, legislators shall prohibit reproductive health care services, including counseling and distribution of condoms and contraception through public schools. No counseling. No condoms. Just go ahead have sex, not be taught about it, not have someone you can go talk to if you got a problem and go go unwrap down there and just let the consequences fall where they may. At least you've got abortion as a backup if things, oh, you don't? Oh, got it, okay. Quote, 
We urge school administrators and officials not to infringe on Texas school students and staff's rights to pray and engage in religious speech individually or in groups on school property. So separation of church and state, screw that. Go pray in a group and make everybody feel awkward about it at your secular school. Why not? Quote, we reject critical race theory. There it is. Was waiting for that one. But they also made sure to include, quote, to facilitate the appreciation of our American identity, the contrast between freedom and the tyrannical history of socialism slash communism throughout history must be taught. <laughs> of course, make sure you slam socialism there because capitalism is working so perfectly. Listen, I'm a capitalist and I'm a fan of it, but there's got to be a combination, you know, when things are crumbling and systems are breaking down. Just saying. Quote, since education is not an enumerated power, of the federal government, we believe the Department of Education should be abolished. Get rid of the Department of Education, because we're doing so well educating our youth. Let's just quit, I suppose. We support the suspension of federal funding from university campuses that do not allow military recruiting. So if a school particularly doesn't want to force the children to constantly be confronted by a recruiter who might try to convince them to go and die for a war that we're probably fighting for a reason that nobody understands, you can't be supported financially by the federal government. That makes sense. Quote, we support abolishing the Texas Child Mental Health Care Consortium, the trauma-informed care policy, school-based mental health interventions, and other public school programs that serve to expand access. You want kids to have the ability to have some sort of counseling or support if they are suffering from mental health issues? No, no, no. No, no, no. Let them figure it out on their own. What's the worst that could happen? They're going to shoot up the school. Oh, right. I guess that could happen. Can you believe there's more? There's more. Quote, the state of Texas shall recognize that pornography is a public health hazard. It really feels like they're personally attacking me. I don't know if you feel that way, but this, this is very hurtful. Quote, even in emergencies or pandemics, mandating that masks be worn shall be prohibited and forbidden. They are against mandating. They're also against mandating. We discussed that earlier. Quote, we urge the complete repeal of hate crime laws. That is actually a sentence in the official platform. If you're trying to stop people from being beaten for being part of a marginalized group, we won't help you out there. We, we're going to encourage the guy committing the hate crime. In fact, what are hate crimes? They're A-OK -okay with us, I guess. Oh, all right. is that a symbol that winks to a certain group? Whatevs. Hard to believe it keeps going, but it keeps going. Quote, we support the repeal or replacement of child protective services. Even in extreme circumstances, a kid just on your own there. Who's writing this? The Uvalde Police Department? Quote, the Alamo is a historical event important to Texas, and it shall be remembered and not reimagined. There's nothing wrong with that one. I just think it's hilarious that Remember the Alamo is literally in their official party platform. And then next, they just listed an enormous amount of government departments they'd like gone because they don't support people, places, or things. Quote, we support defunding and abolishing the departments or agencies of the IRS, Housing and Human Development, Energy, Education, Commerce, Health and Human Services, Labor, Interior, TSA, Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives. Obviously, they don't want a regulation on any of that stuff. The Center for Disease Control, a.k.a. the CDC. The National Labor Relations Board. God forbid, should there be any relations with the workers that are making you billions of dollars and, and uh, you're exploiting constantly. Forget that. The FDIC, the people who protect your investments. And, of course, OSHA the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, they're not in favor of that. They'd like a dangerous, slippery workplace that can maximize profits because it just slides their employees right towards the conveyor belt after lunch. You got a broken wrist? Too bad. Keep working. You're on our dime now. But of course, they do support finishing the wall. And these last two are so beyond insane, you wouldn't Believe it if it was written in a bad comic book. You'd be like, wow, that supervillain is a little overwritten, don't you think? But, I quote, Confederate monuments in Texas shall be protected from future removal or defacement, and we believe that those monuments that have been removed should be restored to their historical locations. They want you to put back the incredibly offensive Confederate monuments that 
we've already gained some at least being taken down to just let people live in peace who are tormented by them. All these platform positions, so many of them want to go backwards, want to go backwards to things we've already progressed beyond. Can you possibly just find a new thing to entertain yourself? And the last one, we urge immediate repeal of all limits on campaign contributions by American citizens to the candidates or causes of their choice. They want a super rich billionaire to literally be able to just straight up on his own buy elections now. No limits whatsoever to contributing to a campaign can only be written by an out of touch, corrupt, bribed to the teeth. Oh, and there's one more that I actually do like a lot. I almost forgot. And I quote, Texas retains the right to secede from the United States. Please do. Pretty please. I'm sure all of you watching found this list as disgusting as I do, but even crazier is that most of this stuff is part of the platform of the Republican Party, not just in Texas, but everywhere. So while they distract you with stories about Hunter Biden's laptop and Mickey Mouse trying to make you say the word gay and Biden didn't win the, win, didn't win the election that he won by a landslide, just know that if you are then tricked into supporting them, this is the kind of stuff you're supporting. A lot of these issues are not a matter of opinion. When the things I mentioned are on the line, it becomes a matter of good versus evil. So it's simple. What side do you choose? I'm Ben Glebe. You can subscribe to my News and Politics podcast, Last Week on Earth, new season starting soon. You can watch my hour stand-up special, Ben Glebe, Neurotic Gangster, on Amazon Prime or YouTube. And follow me at Ben Glebe on all social media, posting a new stand-up clip every weekday on my TikTok and Instagram.